Hello, my wonderful YouTube family. A while back, I told you guys, my husband and I bought a fixer upper, a house, a fixer upper house. And we found a beautiful mid-century modern home in Southern California. Now, houses here in Southern California are very pricey. My husband and I needed to find a four bedroom house with two bathrooms under a thousand dollars so for that price i mean a monthly mortgage of under a thousand dollars for that price we needed to find a fixer upper and we already knew it from all the houses our real estate agent took us to we bought the house that was the most beat up but because when i found this house i completely fell in love with it when i told my husband this is it this is the house i want he couldn't believe it because it needed so much work but i saw past all the remodeling it was going to need i saw what it was going to look like once we were done with it it was exactly what we needed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back in time and i'm going to show you guys the condition the house was in when we purchased it okay jaime just took out the dividing thing that went here which i hated but we're thinking it maybe was original to the house, but oh well, it'll be nice and open. Not anymore. Not anymore. And now he's taking off the tile from the entrance. Oh, Jaime. Is it as hard as you thought? Oh, see, my piece of cake. Okay, so there's the piece he's taken out. All that piece. So now the house is. Hi, Raquelita. Now the house is nice and open. And. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. okay, so all he still has to take out all of this. Todo ese ugly floor. And then the kitchen, pues todavía we haven't even started there. Jaime is working hard. Whoa! I got that, Jaime. A ver. Ah! <laughs> the whole thing came out cool. And there's the tiny little kitchen. Que vamos a pintar y lim limpiar los cupboards and paint them. And we got a new dishwasher we're going to take out of there. And we're going to put new countertops. So that's the plan for the kitchen. And there's all the tile that got removed. Okay, so I'm starting here from the dining room. And um, you can see everything's all over the place. The rug has been pulled out, the tile's been pulled out. So this is the dining room. The ceiling has already been painted. And uh, I like the popcorn ceiling. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. I like finding little shapes to it. And then my husband taped the top area so that he could paint the walls. For the walls, I chose like a really light beige color. And that door you see, there's the entrance to the house. So if you go this way, uh, those two doors, one's a closet, the other one's for a water heater, I believe. And back that way is two other rooms of the house. And then um, here's the kitchen. The kitchen is small and it needs a whole lot of work. So little by little, we're gonna get that done. The drawers, we decided to just clean them out really nice and paint them for now. And um, yeah, you can see it's all messed up. We need uh, a new stove, a new dishwasher. Um, yeah, basically everything needs to be redone. Over here, we have another closet door. Over there, you can see two of the rooms. So this is one of the rooms. There's some drawers there that also need to be painted cleaned and painted this is one of the bedrooms you can see here they're not a really big size and then here's another one of the bedrooms and you can see the trees in the backyard they had, this yard has two big trees here's another one of the bedrooms if you go this way here's one of the restrooms that we've gutted and are gutting and are working on and it's just ew, so gross and so dirty and then we go back this way and here's the dining room again where we started from and this is what I love about this house the entrance of the house the windows it just it's just a nice open feeling over here there was like a little wall that we tore down um, 
Over here, there was two walls we tore down just to open up the area. And over here's the living room. It has that little pathway up at the top, which I wanted to remove, but we can't because the air conditioner, um, I'm not sure what they're called, the pipes that lead from one side of the house to the other are there, so we can't remove that. Over here is just the huge sliding door, so this is just a regular living room. And then if you go back this way, over there and the other side of the house is the other two bedrooms and one more of the restrooms. So this is what I love, the entrance. It's just so beautiful. I love the light that comes in. And what you see there is the paper because we still have to paint the walls. So we, we have to replace the doors. If you could see down there where Dolly is, there's an opening. So that needs to be replaced. Look at the beautiful ivy that's crawling up the wall. The trees in the yard we are going to have to get rid of we st the yard it's still oh my goodness we still need to get started on that it's going to take a while till after we're done fixing the inside of the house so now we're here well this is the living room i think i showed you guys the living room already um the other side of the house which is another restroom that's going to be gutted we haven't even started on this one but yeah got it um here's believe it or not the master bedroom you're going to see it's not very big at all Mm, so it's kind of tiny, just a regular master bedroom and the walls are, oh my goodness, everything needs, the, the ceiling, there you see. Now let's go to the other side, which is, we're passing the restroom, I would take you through there, but I can't because that wall has been, they put plastic on that door. So now if you go here, it's just another regular bedroom, not a huge, huge bedroom. And that's what we have there. Oh, let me show you the yard. I like looking at views from the window when I see videos. So those trees are my neighbor's trees. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to show you guys. The little screen is in the way, but yeah. There's the front yard. There's um, avenue there. You can see the cars passing. So that's it, guys. That's what the house looks like under construction there i so am so you can Hi. see the house was in need of a complete makeover and that's what we had to do it took a lot of hard work but it was so worth it so let me show you what the house looks like now that it's been remodeled all righty so when we come in the door that's the wall and actually this is all original to the house those uh blinds you see there are actually windows let me open them so you guys could see, um, they're actually windows. They're long windows. Let me open the other one. And a lot of people that own these mid-century modern houses um, close, the, close up the windows. Uh, I suppose they feel safer with the window, with the, yeah, they put walls on the windows. But that's what, that's what sold me to this house. These amazing, the entrance. It's just a beautiful, amazing entrance. So that's um, the entrance. And it's a pretty wide area. Nice and wide. And I'll show you guys over there in a little bit. And then in this, one of my favorite colors is coral, oranges. And I dedicated this little area here to... Um, the coral color and then I have the, the frog plant on the other side so from this angle and I hope I'm not getting you guys too dizzy um, that's the entrance of the door there that we were just seeing and then this is the entrance and I have my frog there on the right side and then here on this little table I have my beautiful koi painting this is a beautiful painting I it's one of my favorite paintings it's a vintage um, painting. Look at those amazing koi's. It's by Joan Gibson. And I just fell in love. The moment I saw this one, I just fell in love with it. I love koi's. I absolutely love koi's. And then for the table, I put a koi, a little plant, and then some little decorations there. Um, and in the bottom, I just have a basket. And to add a little bit of color, I put a sequins pillow. And 
that's for that area. Now if we go to the right, this is the living room. And so this is the entrance. I don't have in this house two living rooms. So this is basically the living room where we spend um, a lot of time if we're together as a family. So if we're watching a movie, this is where we're gonna be. Um, so I didn't want a fancy living room. I just wanted sort of like a den-like atmosphere so that we could just be comfortable and um, yeah, just be comfortable and be able to enjoy our family time together. So there's the couch. Uh, the colors in this living room are burgundy, beige and brown. And that's the theme I have going for this living room. Now, because of the mid-century modern architecture, it has the high ceilings and then it has this architecture here you see going across and then the ceiling up at the top it's slanted. I remember when we bought this house I asked my husband if he could tear down that little addition but once uh, he saw the plans for the house we found out that there's pipes going in there for the air conditioning and for the heating so it's out of the question we could and I'm glad we didn't because I actually um, it's part of the house and so I'm glad we didn't get rid of it so that's the the living room area and again we only have the one living room in this house so that's why I had to decide if I wanted a fancy living room but if I chose a fancy living room then we wouldn't be able to spend comfortable time here so I decided on a comfortable living room so we could use it so we could use the space if it was too fancy we wouldn't be able to use this space alrighty so oh and for the rug I have a traditional um, oriental style rug with the beige and the burgundy colors alrighty let's go to the dining room so the dining room is over that way you can see the architecture there it's just a um, a square entrance and one thing we did knock out was a wall and you'll probably be able to see it when I show it to you right now but we knocked that wall out and uh, th that was unfortunately original to the house but I wanted the space to feel open I wanted everything to be nice and open so here's the dining room and you could see the pet little bed over there they all share that little bed and for here it's just super simple I just because of the architecture of the house I just wanted everything to be super simple there's the ceilings and there's the dining room nothing special or complicated about it just nice and open to the rest of the house now these two doors here this one on the right is a pantry and the one on the left has the heating the heating unit so that's what those two doors there are and there you could see um, the walls and this house I don't remember what it's called but it's got two bedrooms on this side of the house and one restroom and then the other two bedrooms and another restroom on the other side of the house so it's divided that way so now let's look into the kitchen as I go to the kitchen this door here is a closet that's where I have my jackets and then this here is the kitchen which was one of the rooms of the house that needed the most work done but let me turn on the light so I can show you so here's the kitchen the kitchen is small and there's a name for it as well but I don't remember what it's called so it's just a really small kitchen and again because I'm not big on cooking this was perfect for me um, we had to redo everything in the kitchen everything you the countertops and the drawers we all we did and I say we I didn't do it my husband did he um, 
refinished them, painted them white, and then, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. It ended up looking amazing. I absolutely love this tiny little kitchen. It's, it's super small, but it gets the job done. You can see all the tiny little cupboards there. It's just a beautiful kitchen. Tiny, but very cozy. For the floors, we chose tile. And my brother-in-law helped us put it, and he put it in a diamond pattern. And it came out so beautiful. The color is just perfect. The reason we wanted this color is because uh, we chose a beige wall color. And I think it matched perfect because the tile has a little bit of beige with a little tiny bit of white. The trim for the house around the doors, my husband added a white trim. And then the ceilings are also white. So that just worked out perfectly. So that's the house. You could see all the straight lines in architecture. It's just a beautiful house. I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with it the moment I saw it. I saw, I, I, I could see that it, it needed so much work, but I just love the architecture. I could imagine what it was gonna look like once we were done with it. It was a lot of work, a lot, a lot of work, but it was so worth it. It was so worth it. You could see all those lines and architecture. It's just so beautiful. I absolutely love it. So that's the condition the house is in now. It still needs work here and there, but for the most part, um, it's already remodeled. But there's there are little things here and there that still need to be worked on. For example, the yard, we still have, even though it's clean, it still needs landscaping. And there's still things here and there, like I said, that we need to remodel. As we continue to remodel the home and doing things here and there, I'll continue sharing with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.